Hey guys, it's Paula. Today we are unboxing the Sephora Play from March. Is that the month? I got this in the mail a while ago and I've just been very slow in opening it, but now we are going to unbox it and see what's inside. Now I was reading a little bit about this bag and it says it's the Glow Your Own Way bag. And I was a little wary about that because as you all know, I have very oily skin and it's just out of control. So I don't like to use products that enhance your glow, you know what I mean? Like I'm already really shiny naturally. So whenever it's like a glow primer or highlighter or something like that, I'm a little wary to use it because I will become a disco ball. Regardless, it might be fun to try some of these products. So let's just see what's in here. I like to start with the perfume sample. So this month we have the Chloe Fleur de Perfume. Let's see here. It's a little bit floral and I don't know whenever I smell perfume I'm just like you know it smells like perfume that's that's the scent like when you think of perfume you think of this that is so dumb I know but it does smell pretty nice I will add it to the collection of mini perfume samples that I have next up we have the biggest thing in this bag so I'm gonna get this out of the way first this is the living proof full dry volume blast it says it's a styling and finishing spray for instant lasting volume and texture. Now I'm pretty excited about this. A couple YouTubers I watch rave about this. They say it's just nice to like freshen up your hair. Like I have second day curls right now and you can see it's getting a little flat up top. We still got the curl down here, but we're flat up top. So for days like this, you're just supposed to spray this in your hair, kind of spruces it up. I'm not sure if it's technically a dry shampoo, I don't think it gets rid of oil in your hair or anything like that, but it just helps to give it more volume and texture, as it says. Just wanna see what it smells like. Oh, am I supposed to shake it? Yeah, I am. Okay, shake, shake, shake. <laughs> ah! Ooh, it has a nice scent. Ooh, that is very nice. I'm, you're probably not supposed to do it on this part of your hair, but I'm just testing it out. I think I'm gonna like this a lot from the two seconds that I've used it, but <laughs> I think that is a yes. Okay, next thing I'm pulling out is the Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. Oh no. <laughs> I know for sure this is not gonna be up my alley. Um, moisturizers alone make me look shiny. And this is a Mega Glow. Oh, it's even tinted, oh wow. Okay, so this is what we have. I'm just going to moisturize my hand to see how glowy it becomes. Ugh. I do not like the smell. Do I look glowy? No, I don't. I don't, mm. Glam Glow is a good brand, but I don't think I will be using this. Next thing, oh, this is the Benefit What's Up Highlighter. I actually already have this. I think it's the exact same one too, yeah, in the same packaging. But to be honest, I think the one I have is really old because I got it in like a Benefit um, sample size pack a while back. But yeah, this is just Benefit's highlighter stick. It's just a creamy kind of glowy color, oh yeah. I will say though, I'm not the biggest fan of cream products, like cream blushes, highlighters, all of that. I'd much rather use a powder. I feel like it just is easier to apply and it sits on my face better, as opposed to something like this. I feel like it just doesn't blend out that well. But I like the color of this and I don't know, highlighters are fun. Next up, we have the Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow Stick in the color Golden Pink. When I first opened this, I was a little, like, angry because I thought it was a product I'd gotten in a Sephora Play box a couple months ago. I want to say it was a Laura Mercier. No. Was it? I don't know. Some sort of other cream eyeshadow, and it honestly looked exactly like this. It was a sleek black package with the little color thing on the end, and then it was just like a rounded kind of shadow stick. So I was like, they are already recycling products. I got this maybe three months ago. Why are they sending me another? And then I realized after watching some more unboxings on YouTube and actually thinking about it, this is a Bobbi Brown product. It's a different product, um, but they do look exactly the same. Anyways, I got the shade Golden Pink, ooh, which is very pretty. Once again, I'm not the biggest fan of cream products. Like cream eyeshadow just instantly creases on my eyelids. I need to use a primer and a powder eyeshadow. But once again, it's pretty, so maybe I'll use it. I don't know. And the last product in my bag is the Josie Moran Surreal Skin Argan Finishing Balm. First of all, there's only like 
20% of this container filled up with product. You'd think they could give you a little more, but that's fine. I was reading about this too, and apparently you can use it before your makeup as a moisturizer, or you can put it on after your makeup as like instead of a setting spray you would put this on your face but i just feel that would not work at all so maybe i'll try using it as a moisturizer one day but i don't know i put some on my hand again i have all of these products on the back of my hand it's just smoothing it's nice and that is everything in my sephora play box for this month the theme not really up my alley but i will use a couple of these products and I will forget about the rest of them as I do with all of the other samples I don't use. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, leave some comments down below, and subscribe so you know when I post new videos, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!